This is dangerous. Don't try it at home. How's it going, everybody? Benny Chris 12 here, and today I'm going to show you how to make exploding arrows at home. Now, this is kind of my prototype version, and I'm going to make it like slightly smaller than I would if I lived in the country because I'm pretty sure I could make one that would make a pretty big boom. But due to living in the city and having to test it in my backyard, I really don't want the police called on me. However, if you like this video and you want to see a bigger version of this, then make sure to comment down below and whatnot. Anyway, all that aside, let's get into the process. All you're going to need for this is a box of matches and some tin foil. And my mom just got home and I'm going to run this upstairs really quick. Okay. Uh, not really. Okay, don't be burning crap in my house like that. Were you were gonna light all these? No. What were you doing? So you make you can like make kind of like a giant snap pop. I'll have to show you. Oh great. Okay, well anyway, all you're gonna need to make this is just regular box of matches and then aluminum foil and probably some tape. So I took two boxes of matches of the 32, so there's 64 matches in here right now. And I just crushed them up into a powder. How I did that was I took pliers, and my camera's gonna keep like shaking and stuff, so sorry if you hear that. Just take pliers, grab it, and give it a little twist. Not super firm, and it just comes off like a dust. And this piece is obviously done. However, as I'm sure you guys know, these are strike on box matches. So you can't just strike it, um, friction doesn't get it to light. What you have to do is scrape off the little strip on the box. Because there's a chemical in here that reacts with the chemical in the match. What that chemical is, I do not know. I tried to find it and I could not. So if you know what chemical it is, you know, comment that down below because I, I spent a good little five minutes trying to figure it out. But anyway, all you do is take a knife and just gently scrape. And you'll see there's a dust kind of forming on there. And what that will do is uh, upon either heavy impact or great pressure that will react with the chemicals that were in the match heads, the red part, and you will get a nice little explosion. So that's um, actually pretty much 90% of the work right there. So essentially you can just make it in a little trough like that, and um, then you'll do a little bit more wrapping to make it into a nice little package. But um, with just the matches and the phosphorus and all that jazz that's in there, you're not going to get a very big explosion. So I'm going to add a little bit of gunpowder. Um, not very much, obviously, because like I said, I live in a neighborhood. Just a very small amount. So essentially it's like a nice little burrito now, um, but because obviously the tip of your arrow is actually about the size of this bullet, you're going to need it to like fold over into little squares to impact on top of that. So essentially I'm just going to snake it back and forth and what will happen here is once this gets impacted, say you hit on a surface and it all impacts together, that will create an explosion. So we'll kind of see how that works. I'm going to go ahead and just probably just tape it to an arrow. I'll show you guys what I come up with and we'll go test it. Okay, so this is the current status. Um, I just kind of taped it on there uh, and put some extra foil around it. It's kind of hard because there's not exactly a plate that this can hit on, but it is pretty much set to go off as long as it gets compressed enough. So hopefully we get it first shot and don't have to do any readjusting. But yeah, um, and also like I said, this is like a prototype version. I know it will explode if it's hit right, um, but if you guys want to see a better, more full version, more explosive version, make sure to comment down below and leave a like. So anyway, I'm going to go out there and shoot now.
So first shot, no problem. Had no issues going off, the entire coil blew up. So everything that was inside, this is the original little package. You can see there's a little bit of red dust still in there. Pretty much everything exploded. So that's pretty good. So thank you for watching. Like I said, if you guys want to see a bigger, better version of this, make sure to comment and like down below. Uh, and the arrow is still good. So obviously that wasn't a very big explosion, but uh, I can reuse this arrow again for another one. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.